Okay, what we want to look at today is we want to connect the scatter plots with the correlation coefficient, and then we're going to talk about R squared as well. And so just as a recap, remember the correlation coefficient R is an actual value in which it ranges from positive 1 to negative 1. And so it's going to give us an indication of the strength of the relationship between x and y. The closer that r is to either positive 1 or negative 1, the stronger the relationship is going to be. The closer to 0, the weaker the relationship will be. And so what we want to do is just look at some scatter plots and connect the scatter plots to the correlation coefficient. And so here, let's say we have a strong and positive relationship. If you had your correlation coefficient R as 0 0.95, 0 0.8, your, your points, when you have your straight line down the middle, those points are going to be very close or right on the straight line. And so when you have a strong relationship and you look at a scatter plot, all these points are going to be close together to one another, and they're going to fit mostly on that straight line. And so that's how you can tell if it's going to be strong. And it's going to be positive because it's going from the left to the upper right. If you have a moderate and positive relationship, the points are still close to one another, but they're a little bit further from the line. And so there's a little bit more space from one another, from the line, and from these points. And so again, it's positive, it's going from the left to the upper right, and it's moderate because these points are further from the line. And then if your correlation is zero, all it's going to look like is a cloud of points. You can't tell or not much of a direction. And so when you have zero correlation, you're just going to have some scatter points. And really, when you have a zero correlation, there is no relationship between x and y. You can use the same thought process when it's negative. And so here, we're coming from the left down to the right. Again, when it's strong, these points are right on the line or close to it, and they're close to one another. When it's moderate and negative, same thing. The points are going to be further from the line and from each other. And so just as a recap, when we look at the correlation, when we look at the strength, comparing it to what the scatter plot would look like, what we have is when we have a negative or a positive strong relationship, these points are going to be close to one another, and they're going to look to be forming a straight line. When they're moderate, these points are still forming a pretty straight line, but they're going to be further apart from one another. And if you have zero or a very weak relationship, these points aren't going to form a straight line. They're going to be further from one another. If it happens that your correlation coefficient is 1 or negative 1, you then have a perfect straight line. You probably would never see this, but it could happen. And so that's how you can connect the scatter plots with your correlation coefficient. It's pretty simple. You look and see how close these points are to one another in forming a straight line. Again, you do not want to rely on your eyesight for the correlation coefficient. You want to find the actual value itself to give you a better indication of the strength of your relationship between x and y. And so the last thing we want to look at is what is r squared. r squared is the correlation of determination. What this is, it's the percentage of the variance in y explained by any small changes in x. And so, if we look at a scatter plot, let's just say you have these points here, and you drew a straight line, 
And so what you're looking at when it comes to r squared is you're looking at how much do these points vary off from the straight line. And so you're just looking, and this would be better to see once we work through a problem. That's for the next video. But what you're looking at is you just want to see how much is your straight line taking in account of the variation between these points from one another and from the straight line. And so that's what r square is trying to tell you there. And so you would learn more about r squared in the next couple of videos. This is just an introducing what is r squared. And so what you want to think about with this video is when you look at a scatter plot, can you tell is it positive or negative? And then can you kind of see is it a strong, moderate, or weak relationship between x and y?